today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a crook for YouTuber that is trying to have a year long nobody. And today I'm going to do my second part in what I planned was going to be a throwback week for my favorite palettes 2018. It doesn't look like it's going to be weak. Uh, I think it will stretch over two weeks <coughs> because maybe you can hear. I did get a cold. Um, it's just a normal cold, but I am. <laughs> my voice is a little bit not that good. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave my first part up here where I use the feather collection or the matte collection. I can't remember from Nabla. Maybe it's the matte collection. And today I'm going to use the soft glam from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And yeah. Um, I think we just get started and can you see like the mess in the background? I don't know. But I will prime my eyes and then we get started. So this is one of my favorite neutral palettes in my collection. I do love this. And it looks like this. I think I want to do something like a little bit to the orange side. As you can see I have a new sweater on. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, I have a package here from Monkey. I don't think you can see it, so maybe it was a stupid idea to mention it. But I did order some clothes and I was trying to find a new pair of jeans. I do not have a jeans body. They didn't fit any of them. Uh, but I bought this one as well and I'm trying to not have everything black. And I think I do like this one. I don't know about the neck, but maybe I can... I don't know if you are supposed to like fold it down, but I think that that looks strange. Yeah, it doesn't want to stay folded. I guess it just have to look like this. So I want to do something because I, I just think about fall when I have this on and I wanted to do some fall-ish look. So, and maybe gold. I think so. So I will just do a look with this and a little bit <coughs> and yeah I am I do have a cold it's not that bad anymore I, I just sound like my colleagues today at work they laughed at me I talked about this in a video before this that I was going to be off work on Friday today's Monday and I was, and then I was like the most sick on Friday. And I hate when it, that happens, like the only day you have off like extra and you are sick. But I'm feeling better. It is just that my voice, like every time I get a cold, something happens with my voice, like this happens. And I have not been coughing like that much and my throat has just been a little bit sore for like two days but my voice I don't know I don't know what the why this happens every time um so the only thing like it's my <coughs> it's my voice it is like the only thing I still have left other than that I'm feeling good it's a little bit I'm I'm, I'm not going to talk about this cold, but yeah, I do <laughs> excuse myself for my voice, but I did really want to film. I did really want to film this whole weekend before like Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but my voice was even wor worse than it is now. So I was like, I can't. And my boyfriend like, maybe you can try. <laughs> uh, no. So I did really want to film today and I don't know why. I did really looking forward to use this palette and this is... I think this was the f second palette. Astrid has found something. The second palette... This is going to be hella annoying, right? I think this was the second palette I tried from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I fall in love with it so, so fast and... For a long time this has been my absolute favorite neutral palette. Though I think though I love 
side by side from Nobla more, but this is an amazing palette. And if you like these kinds of colors, I think you really would like this palette. I think this is so much better than Modern Renaissance. I had that before. But yeah, I think this is an amazing formula and I do really like the color story. I just need to drink some Pepsi and maybe my voice will sound better then. So I did take Burnt Orange and now I think I want to go in with either Sienna or Mulberry because I want to take this bronze one. I think I will take Mulberry. I think I will do pretty dark look and then the bronze shimmer. I'm going to take this mulberry on a smaller blending brush. I'm going to start to deepen down my crease with this. And I do really longing for it to become fall. I have a lot of shoes and clothes that I want to wear, like the sweater. A lot of my buffaloes that are too warm to have in the summer. So I really want it to be a little bit colder. But for some reason, like Sweden or at least where I live, it's still kind of hot for being September. And it's like the end of September. And it usually isn't this hot what I do remember. Maybe it is. I, I, I like this so far. I'm going in with Mulberry on a fluffier brush and deepen down my outer corners. And I think I need to move Astrid with the thing she's playing with. But it's always like when I'm, when she's doing a sound or something and I'm always like in my videos, oh, did you hear that? And then when I'm editing my video, you can't hear shit. But this I actually think you can hear. I'm going to uh, move her out from the... So you can't hear her, hopefully. She did just look at me as I was a crazy pants. <laughs> She's still in here, but the things she did play with is not. It was such a long time ago since I did play with this palette. And I don't know why. Well, I know why, because I found the side by side by Nobla. But this, I don't get why people raved so much about modern renaissance when this palette is so much better i know it's because i do like this color scheme more but like i think this is more fun than uh, modern renaissance or is it just me okay so i'm going in with bronze now and uh, i think it's going to slap this on on the rest of my lid and yeah i'm doing half cut crease again do you see this? I remember like the first time I tried this because I think the first palette that I did try from Anastasia Beverly Hills was um, um, Subculture and I do like this palette but this soft glam and modern renaissance is something else. These are so creamy and they're just amazing. I didn't think that all the shit that... Do you remember how it was when Subculture came? People were so like angry and I remember how many videos I saw about people that was like if you dig it in too hard to the shadows, they are just going to fall apart and people did beat up their palettes on camera just to get views. It was like crazy with subculture and now I don't think it's anything that is like super strange if a shadow is really easily pressed. But I, yeah, if you remember I guess you have the same like feelings that I have and I was one of those that liked subculture it wasn't maybe the best palette ever but it wasn't by far as bad as people wanted it to be but I think that they re 
did the palette with a, like a new formula and it felt like it came too late and it wasn't such a super big deal but yeah, I never did get why people was throwing so much hate on the subculture palette because it was a good palette not as great as the soft glam and modern renaissance maybe it was because I think subculture was the second palette like modern renaissance was the first velour palette like this 14 shades and then I think it was the subculture and the prism and then the soft glam and uh, like the subculture and prism are kind of similar while the soft glam and modern renaissance is similar so I don't know it's if that's because that that's why they it got so much hate I don't know I don't know why I'm talking about this now because I'm using the soft glam and do you see this amazing look I think I'm done with the lids like this so I will take away the fallouts fix my face and I'm going to use something from the infinite palette on my face because I did talk about this in the favorite videos from 2018 that I like to use this on my face and that is what I'm doing for all these throwback videos so I'll fix my base and then I'll come back this is the finished look and do I love it yes I do for my face I did use my face and I tried to take a little bit of cigar as my contour uh, Andromeda as my blush and Milk Away as my highlighter on my wash line I did use Wildcat from Colourpop and on my lips I find a really really old one this is Ashton liquid lipstick from Anastasia and I do like this lip I think it's a little bit drying but I do like the color I don't know though if I should use it because it's really old but it still smelled okay so this is the finished look and I do love it um this is like a typical me for a neutral eye. I do love this palette and I did use bronze, mulberry and burnt orange. So only three colors and I think it looks really really good. And the shimmers in this palette they are amazing. Like this bronze. I had no glitter primer or anything it's an amazing shimmer the mattes are so so good and i do love this palette <laughs> it's so fun to use it on video again i can't even remember when i used it the last time have i ever used it maybe i haven't so i do really like this look i saw the one thing that my shirt looks really like it's orange it looks really red in the viewfinder that it's orange so yeah I do really love this look and uh, I guess this was the last neutral makeup for this little theme I do hope that you like this I guess that some of you might have and a soft glam in your collection and yeah I do like to play with my neutral shadows as well even though I love colors neutrals are still really big thing that I like um, and this look I have done this before I think it was on my boyfriend's birthday some year when we went out to eat I think I did have this look on I don't know yeah I do really hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one bye